Mike Rose, the host of How America Works on Fox Business. Now, Mike, before we get into all this, $1.7 million to build a single stall bathroom in San Francisco. You're a builder. Hmm. Tell me if that makes sense to you. I would just hang a sign outside that says, do not go in there. <laughs> Because in my experience, you can destroy a one and a half million dollar toilet just as easily as you can <laughs> the one in the Home Depot. I mean, this isn't a gold-plated toilet. I mean, this isn't in someone's no. palace. No. This is this is your traditional public restroom. It's impossible, really, to 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 know what to say about that. You know, Thomas Crapper's birthday was literally a month ago, and I did a whole podcast on it. And had I known that in my my adopted town, the place where I now live, is roughly a two million dollar pooper. That would have led. <laughs> that would have led the show. I think a porta potty costs maybe uh, seven thousand dollars, but I, I see where the one point seven is going. Tell me what you think about these people. There is a thing now where everything must be destroyed: yeah. paintings, you know, art, football games. Even if you consider Yale, Penn, a football game. No offense. Oh, Couldn't no. even make the no. practice squad. But what, what is it about these people that just want to tear things down now? Uh, well, look, I mean, I, th I, I certainly can't speak for them, but if I genuinely believed that the world was truly coming to an end in 12 years, um, sincerely, if I, if I really believed that, then I don't know that any activity could be deemed extreme. I would be all in to stop it. The real conversation is, why do they believe that? Who told them that? Where is the proof for that? How do we get it into our heads that fossil fuel is the enemy? It's a lot like saying work is somehow the enemy. It's the enemies that have stacked up used to be our, our friends. And now it's almost as if we're not quite sure who to hate. The View does their show at 11. Mm -hmm. It's late morning. Mm -hmm. Most people are working. Oh. I'm going to have, I, just, I don't think they have a real job if they're going to The View at 11 to disrupt Ted Cruz and Joy. Here's my advice. What they should do at The View is get the temperature in the studio close to where it is right here, right now. Like, you could hang meat in here, okay? <laughs> it's like absolute zero in Jesse's studio. People would be so cold that they would not be protesting anything. They would simply be praying for heat. <laughs> is it cold in here? Are you kidding me? And by the way, how do you sit at this table? I'm trying to face you, but if I turn this way, it's all super weird. It's freezing cold. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. I don't know what you're going to ask me next. I'm getting anxious. Well, I was going to ask you what you're promoting because you wouldn't come here usually to just stop by and say hello. So on uh, Fox Business tonight, we have season two of uh, uh, season three episode. It's how America works on Fox Business. Okay. Eight o'clock. It's great. Uh, Dirty Jobs is back in uh, December. A story behind the story is coming back in November. Podcasts on whenever you want to watch it. It's like stepping in gum with me. Dude. <laughs> You're not going to shake me. Last question, and this is probably the most important question. What yeah. is the difference between denim and chambray? Oh, about $20. <laughs> uh, I have, as you know, uh, many blue shirts. I've got the denim, the chambray. I also have been royal, periwinkle, and uh, navy, You're, I think. You were a blue-collar guy. Life would be simpler. If we all wore uniform. Thank you very much. Anytime. And we'll get back to you about that $1.7 million toilet. Tell, test it out for us. Tell I'll, us how it I'll, is. I'll, I'll warm it up for you. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.